Hey guys, this is Abhishek and you're watching Gizmo Ground. So a few days ago, I already reviewed two Android 9 Pie ROMs for the OnePlus One. One being that OS and another being POSP ROM. Uh, so I recently came across another ROM that's apparently called Pixies OS. So I thought today I'd review that, why not? The installation process as always is pretty simple. You'll need to have an unlock bootloader and a custom recovery installed. But I'm assuming you already have those if you're watching this video. Next what you'll need to do is download the ROM and gapps. The links of both are given in the description below. Once you have downloaded both on your phone, you need to reboot into recovery and wipe Delvic cache, data, system and cache. As always, don't wipe internal storage. Next you'll need to go to install and then flash the ROM file and then reboot into the system. Now a lot of you might boot into the system after flashing both gapps and the ROM package but I like to flash each file first and then boot into the system just to make sure everything's working fine and also to avoid complications. Once you boot into the system and see that everything's working fine, you'll need to reboot into recovery again and flash the gapps package and then reboot into system again. Don't freak out if your phone takes a couple of minutes to boot into system. That's pretty normal at this stage. The boot animation is pretty sweet though with the Google logo and everything. Anyhow, we finally boot into system and see that we have a ton of G apps. Okay, this is my favorite uh, version of Android 9 Pie for the OnePlus One already. Mainly because of three reasons. Right off the bat, this has advanced reboot now for some reason POSP ROM or even Arrow OS did not have any of uh, the advanced reboot options and next we also have uh, animations if we launch Google now like yeah like so this is pretty awesome and also you get the option for uh, of either using the pixel launcher or the Google now launcher we'll get to that in a moment for now I think I'll use pixel launcher and yes if you even if you use pixel launcher uh, you get Google now to the left and also uh, you get the time and the temperature exactly like the pixel so that's pretty awesome in my opinion there's one little thing that I've noticed though yeah for some reason uh, the display cuts away into the notification panel and as you can see the Wi-Fi icon as well as the power saving icon it's kind of like you know outside of the guidelines or the border lines however you may call it but that's really not a deal breaker for me so as you can see this is 9 indeed and the security patch is of August 5th also if you can see uh, the capacitive buttons are backlit as of now I don't think there's any option to turn them off if we jump into the power menu we can see a host of options including as you can see advanced reboot has been turned on by default also we get other things like settings lockdown logout screenshot flashlight you name it they have it so if we jump into buttons and notification we can see we also have the option to change status bar icons which I saw last in Lineage OS 15.1 and also I have it in my OnePlus 6 but neither of uh, Pixie, neither of uh, the POSP ROM or even Arrow OS did have it so I think that's a very neat feature and I really am enjoying this ROM so far jumping into display we can see that there there are like tons of options including something like color theme which we have seen in the past but as you can see they have a lot of themes i mean presets rather pre-installed and also you can change the ui style depending upon the wallpaper that you have or maybe use light dark or even completely black ui we'll change to the black ui let's see okay this is pitch black I and mean, this is completely dark and even my oneplus 6 does not have a completely black ui like this so i'm pretty impressed right now with this rom so guys it seems that we also have digital well-being on this rom pre-installed i mean of course it's supposed to be pre-installed but you get the point i mean posp neither posp nor uh, arrow has had it this is in beta though but at least we have it uh, i mean we have the option too uh, I think I'll need to test it out a bit more because I don't even know how digital well-being works properly yet But this is a good touch really good touch. I re I'm really gonna enjoy this. I think 
Guys, let me know if you want a full review of this ROM. I think I'll do a full review of this ROM because uh, I really like this for the, you know, from what I can see right now. I think this is per personally from, from what I can see right now, I think this is definitely better than, you know, Arrow or even POSP. So I think I'll do a full review. Let me know in the comment section down below if you want a full review and please do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching guys.